Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlage. This is their part number L283-040. This is the quintessential spring cage for their L-series lever locks. And we have, um, you know, this is at times the heart and soul of the Schlage L-series lock. And uh, this client buying a couple of dozen of them we smell we sell lots of spring cages um, and and it's you know and it occurs in the service manual um, and I'm looking at it here a couple of dozen times so it's on lots of different parts and comes up lots of different places um, the reason we sell them is not because there's anything wrong with the spring cage uh, back in the very early 1990s yeah there were problems with lever return springs. It seemed to me that some of the manufacturers were caught quite flat-footed with, uh, uh, with the adoption of passing a law of A117, the uh, accessibility, uh, usable design of usable buildings and ac accessibility guide, the ADA uh, law. And there were problems with those uh, levers returning back up. And if a lever sags, now all of a sudden your latch bolt's not fully projected. Um, and that causes all kinds of problems namely violations of fire rating because you don't have the minimum latch projection um, and in a lot of instances as well that will hang the lock up from working correctly um, if you have electrified function but your hub is partially turned because your lever is sagging and your latch bolts hanging in it's not going to work right now what i find is when people purchase these lever these spring cages it's because and the schlage l series lock is rated for a, it's a grade one lock which is a million cycles, but how many cycles has it pa has it actually cycled through? Um, you know, you can easily get to four million cycles of a Schlage L series lock in just a couple of three years of a heavy application uh, situation. So when people purchase these spring cages, I don't think there's something wrong with the spring cage because I there is not. What I think is, wow, how many cycles do you have on that lock? That's tremendous. Um, some basic uh, dimensional properties of this. And if you have a deployment of Schlage L locks, like in a hospital, I think you're going to want to keep some of these on hand. Overall width, 1.538 by 1.54 inch, okay? Thickness of the unit, just for the sake of giving it to you, 0 0.258, 0 0.258. You see the direction of arrows going there, okay? It can be installed either way, and they are, or they can be. Um, as long as you follow the direction of the arrow. Um, and this item is going to keep that lever popping back up. Now Schlage has, I think it's an O3 lever. It's a tubular lever. It's a round, uh, it's a round lever with a return to the face of the door. It's completely handicapped compliant. But it's tubular, not in the sense that it's shaped like a tube. It's tubular, in the, not like the 80s. It is tubular, it's totally tubular. It's tubular in the fact that it's a hollow lever. Now the advantage of that hollow lever is bam, that lever bam, returns, returns. And plus it weighs a lot less, uh, so you're not using as much material, you're not hanging as much weight on the door itself. Not a huge factor, but I would really think long and hard about that O3 lever just to make sure that that lever was snapping up. Um, you know, with a piece of solid brass hanging on that lever, it's going to fatigue anything. And that's certainly uh, uh, going to put you in a position of needing to buy some spring cages. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Schlage products that we sell, but there's a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the service manual. And I would encourage you to review that or bookmark that document because it will show you all of the serviceable parts for the lock you're working on. I would suggest that you search for the, f the function, the part number. Search for 9050. You'll see how many on that L-series uh, office function lock, all the parts that will go along with it. It will even give you a table of how many parts are required. So they'll give you the number two on this one because there are two spring cages required per lock. Um, on that page are also some archival catalogs, prior versions of catalogs, uh, key blank reference guides, encyclopedic material, everything important to Schlage. That's the page where we'll put it on, in addition to the standard resources, your current catalog, things of that nature. If you have any questions on the Schlage, this is their part number, L283-040. 
spring cage for their L series locks or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.